We are right here in front of 227 Duffield Street, which is the home of former abolitionists Harriet and Thomas Truesdell. They were living here at the time that the Fugitive Slave Act was passed. This entire block was known as a bastion of abolitionist activity. We believe this home is a place in which people who had been enslaved were held while they were moving on the Underground Railroad and onto freedom in Canada. Mama Joy, who lived here and was so passionate and eloquent, she would say, this is not just Black history, this is American history. This home actually was next to another that had a connecting through a tunnel in the basement between this home and another, so that if authorities were knocking on one door, they could shuttle people into another home and that they would not uh, be found. You feel like you're connected to these people who were escaping for their lives and who may or may not have hid down there, but you know, they sure couldn't sit down there. There's a lot of chances. And I think it gives you a, an, an emotional connection to that struggle, that you can be part of telling that story. Joy was an activist, a, a prominent activist. And so she held possession of this home until, until she died. In 2003, the city of New York put a notice that they were going to destroy this building, all the buildings on the block here. So Joy fought them and she took them to court. There was also a hearing, right, that the city council had. The city chose this firm to study whether this was part of the Underground Railroad. And they came to the conclusion that there wasn't sufficient evidence. They said that they had spoken to a number of historians who said that it had no historical significance. All the historians said, you gotta save the building, you gotta save the building, you gotta save the building. The current owner of the home applied for a demolition order. What we're asking for is a fair and just investigation because we know after talking to numerous historians that this home does have historical significance. You can feel that this, this is an important site and if we lose that, it's gone. It's never coming back. What the city has proposed is that we put up a statue. You know, you could put a, a monument here, a plaque here, that does not have the same impact touching the same stones or looking at the same stones that these people escaping slavery or helping people who are escaping slavery that they touched and they felt. What we're proposing is that the house be saved. Coming here will change you. We're losing an understanding of who we are and what our history is. We're losing a reminder. We were the home of a movement for freedom. We're losing the possibility of young people being inspired by actually walking in places in which people who had been enslaved were moving on their way to freedom. We have created a, a petition in which more than 5,000 people have signed. We're asking everybody to stand with us to keep this house standing and to turn it into a museum. If folks want to save this house, then they can go on change.org and look for 227 Duffield Street and sign that petition because that uh, is going to help us get more numbers of people so the Landmark Preservation Commission will save the house.